Hello and welcome back to Educate Call Snap Channel. How you doing? So today we will be following the winner's bracket and we will see the matchup between Coco 4 and D Money. So I thought this was a very decided match, but it turned out a little bit more interesting than I thought. Let's begin. We're into the next one. It's another D Money game. So here we have Hmm. This is more of a con. It's 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 a dino control list. This is an interesting list. This this feels like a. I don't have all the cards list from um, Coco. Right, because he's running Mister Fantastic, which is a great card, honestly, but not a like a a common card to see at like high deckless so this this is definitely interesting um that he's running mr fantastic it's the only one it's the only card that like jumps out to be it being like slightly unique it is it's a it's a card that isn't like as powerful if your opponent knows you have it too so i i don't know if i would you know lock it into my deck list it is a good card though so i don't mind it it's just like not a super common card but you would think like you'd be running like moon girl you'd be running quinjet in a list like this, and they're not running any of that. <laughs> so definitely an interesting list from Coco. But apparently he's been winning, right? Because this is the winner's bracket, so... Apparently he's been winning, so... That... that that's... impressive. <laughs> I mean, Daredevil is really strong, so that may be oh. just enough. Coco the one playing not on the laptop because he's not on the laptop here. Oh, Elysian. Elysian, hmm. Oh, okay, we All get right, his, we we get his cards now. Showing. Okay, sweet. All right, let's keep it going. So, yeah, Quinjet's huge right now. Ooh, a snap. So, did Dara D snap? I mean, not Dara, but did yeah, the D Money snap? Especially D Money did snap. snap. I can see the snap from D Money. You can see he has the Quinjet plus the. The synergy, right? So he's getting so much, so much uh, possibilities to to flood the board, which is really good. So I can see the snap from D Money here. I mean, but both players can do that. Ooh, the Cosmo! The Cosmo could be the difference maker here, right? That's so powerful. But Cosmo coming in, doing some madness. It don't. It only hits. Uh, it only hits the cable, so it's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Um, whoo, boy, look at look at Dara's. I mean, dear. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Look at D Money's hand. It's nutty. Two mana sentry. Alright guys, so it's uh, two cubes at the moment. Unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties. It's going to be resolved for the next round. Um, so it's two cubes in total right now. First game of the match. Um, Cosmo is down, which is detrimental for uh, Coco, unfortunately. Uh, this, uh, is he going, um, is he going, going Professor X left? Sentry does come down. I think he is, right? Agent I like this play huge. from... Uh, I like it. Oh, but only... Oh, that's, that's super, so bad. Super, super interesting. That's so bad for... Uh, We'll be changing. Coco we'll, here. We'll, we'll be fixing these technical difficulties. Just one second, guys. It's it's uh it's so, definitely uh, an Professor interesting read down, to do that. It's, it's looking good for for Coco. It's looking extremely good for Coco. Let me try to get this this issue. Is it looking good for Coco? What do you mean it's looking? It's uh, not looking good for Coco. It's looking horrible for Coco. It's looking good for D Money. It's looking horrible for Coco. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> oh. I, I I guess maybe he's just saying the the wrong card or the wrong line. Yeah, Coco has to leave. He has to leave here. You have, there's no chance. This is the Professor X backfired. He has to leave. Like there's you you should know. Oh, he has Quinjet plus all these all these stealing effects. Like he he definitely wins this one. Alex, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D money understands. Yeah, that that was a that was a pretty free win after the Professor X comes down like that. There's no way to buff up this Professor X, right? Usually, when you play cards like Professor X, you um. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened?
So I, I, I assume Waiting. he gets the two start kills. advantage. Yeah, yeah, okay, he does. All right, Quinjet is down on turn one. It's a big play, of course. He has Agent 13 in his pocket, just waiting. Let's see how that goes. If that's going to work out for him next turn. So now, now D Money's on the on the bottom side. Okay, and Koga's on the top. Okay. Quinjet into Onslaught Citadel. Damn, did he high roll? He just high rolled like crazy, dude. Okay. Uh, what's the list? Can can no. So, okay, so the one thing I've noticed is, like, there's no punishes on a lot of these deck lists. Um, a lot of people are just bringing their own stuff, but no, like, way to counterplay. No killmongers and stuff like that. So you just get this Onslaught Citadel Quinjet value. And, like, normally in ladder... Uh, oh, my God. Normally in... Oh, dude, it's so free for... Dude, D-Money, you just snap here. Uh, normally in ladder, when you do stuff like... Um, who snapped? Was it D-Money? I hope so. Um... Uh, Cause if uh if Coco snapped, that's interesting. Oh no, it was D buddy. Okay, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, but normally a ladder. If you do stuff like Quinjet into Sida, you get Killmonger like pretty pretty readily. But here, like you don't get you don't get it. You just get the free win. I think it should have snapped turn two. So I I think D money should have snapped immediately here. Like you shouldn't he shouldn't give the extra turn. I think this is enough information, and knowing both lists that this is already a win. So yeah. But still, you get the cube, it's fine. Atlan, okay. We're not playing Daredevil for Coco. Hmm. We're not playing Daredevil. That's pretty interesting. I don't know. I don't love getting more Sentinels. Or well, I guess you're not getting more Sentinels. But I, I'd love to have, I would love to have the Daredevil guaranteed down on the board. I mean, I guess you can still do it, right? You play Daredevil. Yeah, now you're forced to play Daredevil Iceman. Okay. <laughs> and for Coco, Coco, I mean, not for um, D-Money. His hand is a little bit weird. You're really playing Atuma? I don't know if I'd play Atuma here. I would maybe just go Colseen. I don't like the Atuma. I think I think it's gonna to be too easy to contest. Uh a lot of the time. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for that. I would definitely go for the Agent Colstein here. I, I know that the downside of the Colstein is that you're gonna be drawing to dumb cards that you probably don't want. So that's that's obviously a big downside. And I can see that being the answer, but you're you're kinda of skipping your turn. I guess I guess the the argument is like maybe you can um just play nothing there. All right, but then he gets to like Shang Chi you. Which is kind of a down a bummer. It's not Cosmo left. He could go Cosmo left into Professor X left into Shang Chi, but not during that. <laughs> right. The. So the big downside with this Cosmo in, in Coco's deck is he rarely has priority, right? This isn't up. So his deck, his deck doesn't really synergize well with it itself, right? Because you, you run Cosmo if you can, if you have priority, you can shut it down, right? You can shut the, um, your opponent's play down. But the way his deck runs, he doesn't have a ton of early power, right? Because he has this Daredevil, he has these Sentinels, you know. So it's it's rare that he has this early power to get this proactive priority Cosmo played down. So the deck doesn't really synergize well with itself, but he's been winning, right? This is the winner's bracket. So I wonder if he was always using this list or he has like a second a second list that uh, he was using before this one. Because I'm not in love with this list currently that he's running, so we'll have to see. <laughs> so yeah, you get the Daredevil, and then you get the Professor X down. So we do have that guarantee, which is really nice. The problem, though, is like you can't Professor X the at Atuma. So basically, if... if, if um, if what if if D money goes like sunspot into something else, right? Like it, you know, he could really shut you down. 
I wonder if he's playing the arrow here. He's playing Sentinel, not arrow. Interesting. I like the arrow. <laughs> I like Sunspot into arrow here. Or or you go like um Sunspot left. Right? Cause then even if he tries to Professor X, it doesn't work on the left side or the right side or the middle. So you could you could do that. I don't mind um arrow left though. But yeah. Cause cause he, Coco needs to lock down one of these locations and then Shang Chi for the finish. But maybe Maybe D Money knows that, but you can't. I mean, you can't stop it, right? Like you, you can't stop the Shang Chi for the finish. So I would just maybe just drop down the arrow, just to get the most power on the left lane here. <laughs> yeah, it's because you see now you open up this window, right? You see, you see. So that's the issue with the Sentinel. That's why I wanted the arrow. You open up this window for him to say, okay. You've committed this location now. I can I can get enough power to win, and then I can guarantee the Shang Chi. But you only get the tie here. Only get the tie. Huh. You should put. Hmm. Only get the tie. That's not great. Could he have done something else? What if you go arrow mid? What if you do this? I, I kind of like that play. You go like arrow sentinel mid for, for D money. Right? I like that play. Oh, he passed. Oh, to get, to get the six power. But why, why not? If you're going to pass, why not just, um, why not just play arrow? Arrow Sentinel, right? No, I mean, he still wins, I, but like he still wins, but like he passes for six power, but he could easily just play Arrow Sentinel, get seven power and three power. I guess you can't play Sentinel, but you can still just play Arrow because, and then you get eight power on the right lane. So you're losing two power for no particular reason. He could get eight power. Could he get nine power? No, he could get eight power that way, or he could get eight power that way. So yeah, he could get eight power if he just goes arrow right, or he could go sentinel right too. It's also eight power. So playing as air enemy arrow. Ah, that's true. If your opponent plays arrow mid, does. Does Coco have error in this deck? Actually, does Coco even run error? We're at 201. I'm not even 100% sure Coco is running error. Oh, he is. Okay, good. All right, he is running error. Okay. Yeah, so Coco's not had a great run with this with this deck so far, and I I do think it's a it's a rough deck to pilot here. So Lamentus is definitely interesting. Lamentus is a location you could snap preemptively. However, not not with Coco's hand you wouldn't, but with with D Money's hand you could. You, like if I were D money, I would probably be snapping. I think you you have enough information to snap here. You have such a good like early game st start, and then the agent Colstein like fills the rest of your hand. Plus you get you get the agent thirteen buff. It's such a good hand. So if I were D money, I would even I'd consider just pressuring. You you also have so much health advantage over Coco that I would just take advantage of this or any pr any psychological pressure here. Just give him the snap. So this would already be, I'd probably already be snapping here. So, you know, I, I, I'd be so confident if I were, if I were him. 
Did he snap? Did he snap? He's pointing. Oh, he just pointed. No, he didn't snap. I don't know. You could easily snap. This is so, you're such an advantage here. Scorpion snap. It's so free. Snap, snap. Why are we snapping, Coke? Why are we snapping? Why are we not snapping? It's so free. Your hand is so good. You get you get to play your coaster. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is a mistake. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, but still, it, you know, these things feel like objective mistakes to me. Um, why didn't I go? I I wasn't. So this was like kind of announced before I was really in the scene, basically. So I wasn't really um, unknown. I was still like streaming. Uh, Hearthstone when this was really uh, available, so I wasn't like, oh, you know, let's invite cons. Like I wasn't there. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't even playing. I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time, like so. Didn't really make sense. So I definitely understand it. But yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I don't see how uh, he loses. So we'll see. Like why we we just haven't snapped yet. Maybe he's feeling merciful or something. I don't know. Why haven't we snapped, D-Money? D-Money, why haven't we snapped? Why haven't we snapped? We're so ahead. It's so disgustingly ahead. Aren't we so ahead? It's so... Uh, we're so ahead. Yeah. We could have snapped turn one. You know what I mean? I will say, hmm. No, you can't, right? I was looking at the Magneto mid. You win the right side if you go Magneto mid, but you lose the left and the mid. So you you end up losing, so it doesn't work. Do you snap in battle mode? Absolutely. I would say this is this is um this this game is a deck is a deck diff, not a player diff. Once again, right? Even though like D money won with a deck diff, like this one is like is another deck diff, but like it's it's still pretty bad. It's just that um, it it feels like Coco's deck doesn't like is missing some cards. You know what I mean? Like because he's running Mister Fantastic, like that's very telling. He doesn't have Moon Girl in here. You know, which is also pretty telling. Does he have Dino in this list? He should, right? Because he's running all this. Yeah, he does. He must have Dino. Yeah, but like some of the other pieces are are not like there. I would say for like the cleanest, the cleanest one. That's hilarious, by the way, that you put the the tag there. <laughs> so let's let's. Oh please, okay, stop memeing. <laughs> please. Alright, 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 fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keck W's in chat, I'm imagining. Yeah, so we go White Queen, yeah. It's it's so hard. How do you win? You basically have to win from um Oh, I like this from Coco, the read. I like this read from Coco. Wait, but Coco has initiative. Coco has initiative. It doesn't work. You have initiative, so that play won't work. That play won't work, Coco. Oh, it does work. Oh, it does work. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it does work. Never mind. I'm a liar. Ignore me. Ignore me. Great play from Coco. <laughs> Seize the read. Why didn't I go to tournament? Because I, I wasn't um, in the scene at the time when this was like being announced, basically. All right, now he has to get the Professor X down. And he should, right? So this, this is winnable. This is winnable for Coco. Here we go. Here we go. Right now we can finally get the we get the X on the right. Right? We get the professor oh hmm. we played Magneto. I guess that also is fine. It's basically Professor X, right? Yeah. 
because you lock their location. So it's 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 actually better. And now you can do dino. Right? You can dino it up. Right, we just got Dino here, right? Yeah, we just got Dino here, and then we win. All right, Coco recovering. I like it. I like it. It's not a clean sweep for D money. Coco with the comeback. It's just gonna be hard to get in in those situations constantly, but I definitely like that he was able to pull it off. Ooh, this is a bad hand though from Coco here, and a really good hand from from D Money. So that's a little scary though. Monster Island could be good if he hits the Shang Chi. There's some counterplay there, and he hits the Shang Chi. Okay, okay, we go collector. We go collector mid. Yeah, I like this. Coco just has no card plays for the first turns. Oh, you can't play armor left. You have to go armor mid for Coco. Has to be armor mid here, right? Oh, he just left? Oh, Coco just left here. No, 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 you can't leave. Oh, did he snap? Oh, did, oh. D-Money snapped here. Oh, I see. That's, that's a good play. A good, like, see, that's the, once you have no health, you're so, you're, it's so hard to recover. It's such a hard a position to recover from you have no health so just the snap is like well i guess i i don't i don't feel confident but you have to fight it i think i i don't think you should retreat like even if they snap you here you can't retreat because one health there's no you have to beat d money what is it seven games in a row like that's impossible you've basically lost so you you ha you can't leave. This is this is giving up. If you leave in this position, it's just wrong. There's there's like almost no chance you're gonna beat the other person seven games in a row, like including location RNG. That's just not gonna happen. So you can't leave this. You have to play this out, even if you're playing like this. The game is over, uh, so you can't leave this. This is not okay. Like you have to play it out. Like you you have to play it out here. Like it's not it's not feasible to leave this position so unfortunate though he does leave and it just gives it's basically like fundamentally giving up here um it's always minimum two no 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 it's always minimum max health so he has three health right now so the max he can play for is three if if he leaves right he'll go to one health the max he can play for is one oh no two for the opponent okay oh it's two for the opponent oh okay I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You're right. Oh, you're right. Okay. So he has to beat him four times. Okay. It's it's a lot. It, we're back in the game. We just have to win four times in a row. <laughs> like, it's still it's still pretty doomed. <laughs> it's still pretty doomed. <laughs> I hear you. But, like, it's maybe slightly better. But it's still pretty doomed. You just have to win four times in a row. Uh, I don't know about that one. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I still don't think you can leave there in a lot of positions. Like, having having your back against the wall like that. Oh, that's good. Okay, at least you're going to get two cubes here. Okay. All right, all right. So we just have to win three more games. We just have to win three more games for, for Coco. That's doable. That's doable. Mer Island. Okay, Mer Island is okay. You already went just by, like, Mr. Fantastic on the right. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, Mr. Fantastic on the right. Oh, where? Oh, oh my God! He hit. He hit Falcon. Where does Falcon come from? Well, Agent Thirteen gave him Falcon. That's so broken. That's uncool. I'm not okay with that. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, but like, jeez, jeez. Would I play Falcon this early? I guess I have to, right? Because um, I need the, I need to play the Quinjet, right? So yeah, I guess I have to Falcon. Wait, the, he, oh, he stole his arrow. He stole his arrow. You just arrow here. You just arrow this turn. Oh, my God, it's over. You just arrow here. Yeah, yeah, this, this, that's the play. Let's go. D-Money calls it. 
Gonna get the win, I think, with this line. Such a good line. Wow, he hit the Falcon. That's so unfair. Dude, really? Ah, Agent 13 is just carrying. All right, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not okay with this. I, give, give Coco a chance. <laughs> oh, man. All right, whatever. Um, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, the, the error is gonna gonna lock it down. We error. Error in the middle. It's so it's so rough. How do you beat that? And then it's what? It's like two power. It's a two cost card armor. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. It's oh my god. I hate it. <laughs> uh now what? Right? Now what do you do if you're Coco? Right? What 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 can you do here? What can you even do? What can you do? I guess you have to play Magneto. You have to play Magneto, right? So you have to go on the left. You just have to commit on the left. So how would you commit on the left? You go like... Sentinel... Sentinel Cosmo? Ooh. I mean, no, I mean, you know, you know, you see, the thing is open decklist. You know they have Professor X. So you can't play, you can't play Professor X into, like, on turn five. In, like it's too obvious, you know. Like you could arguably, you could argue go Professor X right. Like I think that's more subverting expectation. You go Professor X right, and then you go, you go Magneto mid. Like that's that would like I wouldn't I would never go Professor X left here. Like so I'm thinking maybe you go um you go send okay so he does do that okay I love that all right that's the line right because you think okay they're thinking he might Professor X right like how do I do this. You don't want to, so they, the opponent can't play like randomly into the right lane because that locks it down. And if they, if they're wrong, then they lose that lane. So they can't, they can't really play into the right lane, but you know that too. So you're like, okay, if I go left, you know, that's too, that's too much of a risk. So I have to take the risky play and I have to go Professor X right. The other line was to go Sentinel Cosmo, but like you, it's you, you, we see how weak that is, right? If you go Sentinel Cosmo. Like, that's not really a powerful play. So that's, like, the downside. But I like this play from, from Coco. He does go for the read. Gets the read. So gets the gets the power here. The, and now he just has to hope that he has enough. Right? So actually, Dino is better than Magneto here. Actually. So if, if, he, wanted, so if he wants to go, he just goes... He goes Devil Soar. Um, Devil Soar left. And he has to stay in, right? So he can't do anything else. Is there another play he could do? He can't really do another play, right? Because he because Magneto's worse than Dino, so he just has to go Dino mid. I mean Dino left. But then the opponent, why not play Gamora? Why not play Gamora? Gamora is so good here. Why not just play Gamora? All right, he's thinking about Cosmo, but you still win if he plays Cosmo. It's just Gamora. Why are we playing Hellcow? It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters, but like. That's the play. So yeah, I mean, D money gets it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, but even if they shang chi, you still win. That's the thing, right? Like, even if they shang chi, you still win. So it doesn't really matter because you have seven power base, and they can't beat that, right? And you're always playing the extra sentinel. So even if they gamora you, it doesn't matter. But yeah. Well, yeah, that arrow mid was the the, and that's what I'm saying. There's there's almost no way you're going to beat, you're going to beat D money four times in a row. So you can't leave that last game. You have to commit to it. So rough. I I I think this is just a a, a deck diff. Honestly, I just think um, Coco's deck here was not that good. Um. Co like compared to like everyone everyone else is like super sweaty decks if that i've seen so far like i haven't looked at all the deck lists but like all the decks i've seen so far are pretty sweaty um and and coco's list is just not that sweaty it's just not that um like there, there's too many like ways to counterplay it, uh, right like ice man's good daredevil's good armor's good Right, but then the Mr. Fantastic and then the Cosmo doesn't work. So, so th this deck is not aggressive enough to really take advantage of this Cosmo. I would say you kind of have to like, 
mind game them to play Cosmo correctly. And that's so hard to do against good players. So it, it's a it's a little bit rough. The Shang Chi is fine, White Queen's fine, but you don't have like Mystique or anything, right? That's another thing. You're missing the Mystique for the because your win con is the Devil Sword and the Arrow, right? And kind of the Magneto, but Magneto is like you know, Arrow's er, Mag, like Mystique is better, right? Than I would say than than Magneto here. Like maybe if you were running like a Kingpin. Then you'd have a little bit of spice, right? Like so, let's say they have there's a kingpin in this list. I'd be like, ooh, there's a little bit of spice uh, to work with, but but there's none of that. So it's definitely uh, it's definitely rough. Uh, when I did my oh, you're here. I'm sorry. Hey, oh, hey, hey, Coco. Yeah, we're talking about um, we're talking about your list. Uh, all right, let's see. When I did my prep, D Money's lineup was the only one I couldn't even get a clear win against. Aha, his deck was perfect. Yeah, his his uh, <laughs> his, I I think it was a deck diff here, um, for sure. So it it's hard. Yeah, it's just hard. Like his his list is just so much, so much uh better into your list here, and I was just like, oh, I can't see it, can't see it working. But yeah, it's it's just hard. It's just definitely hard to to get to get that match in. All right, let's move on to the next matchup here. <laughs> 